Hi guys, we've got a spag lesson today, first in a, in, in a number of spag lessons that I'm going to be putting out. You're going to have some challenges and things to do in there, but ultimately it's going to help you understand spelling, punctuation and grammar. Um, what we're going to do today, we are going to be talking about uh, determiners. Now determiners are pretty easy. Um, they are small words. Uh, they go before a noun. Um, we're also going to be, they can also be numbers. Um, they can be called articles. So we're going to be looking at how they can change the meaning of a sentence. We're going to be looking at what they are and we're going to be going into a lot of detail about that. So let's kick off with uh, some relatively easy ones. We are going to be looking at articles. Now articles can be the, an or a, but depending on what type of article it is, depends on which one you use. Now a specific thing, a definite article um, would be Leave myself there would be over here and in the definite article it would be the so pass me the pen is a specific pen so it's not saying pass me a pen which is over here so pass me a pen could be any pen but pass me the pen is definite definitely that pen so that's the one i want indefinite i walk down an alleyway it could be any alleyway so when we look at this one here we can see that it changes the meaning of it so if i walk down the alleyway it's a specific alleyway that I'm walking down. So I'm being definite about what I'm saying. If I walk down an alleyway, then that is indefinite. So you have a definite article and an indefinite article. Those are the two types of article, a definite article or an indefinite article. Just remember definite is being specific. It's definitely that one. Indefinite is could be anyone. So if I said, pass me a pen, um, uh, then that's an indefinite article. It could be any pen out of the pen of pots. If I said, pass me the pen, then it's a specific pen. It's that pen I want. So articles are easy, just definite articles, the indefinite articles, and. So the next one we're looking at are demonstratives. Ooh, but really, they're not that scary. Uh, demonstratives basically are this, that, these, and those. But for these words, to be a demonstrative, it must be in front of a noun, whether that's a specific noun, uh, so a common noun, um, a proper noun, or an abstract noun. So those cakes were disgusting. What would that be? Well, those is before cakes. Cakes is a noun, so it makes it a determiner. But if we don't have the noun, if it was just those were disgusting, then we're taking away those cakes. And obviously when we do that, we're taking away the noun, so it becomes a pronoun. I'm right in the middle of a cake. Let's move me again. So it becomes a, a pronoun um, because it's, those were disgusting. So we're taking away cakes and it becomes a pronoun. That child was very rude. So obviously child would be um, a, a noun. So it would be a determiner. That was rude. That makes it a pronoun because that was rude. Was is not a noun. So if it's before a noun, and I'm going to say this quite a lot, it makes it a determiner. If it is not before a noun, then it is not. It generally makes it most of the time a pronoun. So your first challenge then today is using the using a definite article, the, write a couple of sentences. Then what I want you to do is using uh, indefinite articles, a, an, write a couple of sentences, and then using the demonstratives, this, that, these and those. Make sure that you write what it is next to it. So under definite article, um, use the word the and write some sentences. So pass me the pen. Um, indefinite articles, pass me a pen and then make sure you label which is which for when you revise. So you can pause the video now and get that done or you can watch through the video and come back to it again. That's up to you. So decide which one you want to do. But if you want to pause it now, make sure you write down definite article using a sense of the, making it a specific thing you're talking about. Um, indefinite article, a, an, and dem demonstratives, this, that, these, and those, but make sure they go before a noun. A determiner goes before a noun. So next up, pos possessive determiners. So with a possessive determiner, what you've then got is you've got my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. So, my, your, his, her, its, out and there before a noun will be possessive. So my cooking, the cooking that is mine, my cooking skills are better than yours. So it's my cooking skills. So possessive is my cooking skills, so it's better than yours. So, um, and also then, um, if it's the cat drank its milk slowly, 
then what we're looking at there is it's the cat that belongs to the milk uh, it's, the, it's the cat's milk so it's milk so again it goes before the noun um ours is not working properly well there's no noun there so it cannot be a possess possessive determiner so mine yours his hers it's and ours and theirs on their own are pronouns and they are not determiners so if you've got it in front of a noun it makes it a determiner so your next challenge my, your, his, her, its, and their, what I would like you to do is use each of those under the heading possessive determiners. Underline them so it helps you remember to revise. So that's your next task. Okay, moving on. What we have got coming up next is quantifier determiners. Quantifiers, basically these go before a noun and they say how many. So I had four cookies left. In the zoo, I saw 12 monkeys and my parents live on the third floor. So quantifiers tell us how much or how many. So how much or how many? Um, so it is a number of things. So these are really relatively easy, but again, it goes before the noun. So I live on the third floor, I saw 12 monkeys, and I had four cookies left. So that generally goes again before the noun. These are called quantifier, quantifier the quantity, how much of something, but you can also use them here and you can use them with um, sometimes um, nouns can't be given a number but they can still be quantified so you wouldn't have a uh, number in front of it what you would have um, I had lots of fun so fun being the abstract noun there um, I had lots of fun at school today in the pool I saw many bugs because you don't want to count them all but it's still a quantifier it's telling you the amount so not a few but many and there is still some cake left from the party so I've not cut it into slices I can't say there are still five um, cakes left from the party there is still some cake left from the party so lots of many some these are all quantifier determiners so these are quantifier determiners but they're still determiners and they still go before the noun so what you're going to do here is you are going to use those quantifier determiners and you are going to try and use each one in a sentence under the heading Quantify determiners. Are we getting the hang of it now? Um, underline them and help you remember. If you're, if you're stuck, go back, use my sentences and just change them slightly. So these are numbers that go before a noun saying how many, but it doesn't have to be a specific number. It gives you the amount. It gives you the amount of that as well. So that's our determiners for today. Um, go back over, have another look through, but determiners are relatively easy. Just to remember, they go before a noun and they're relatively usually small words. They're not big words, they are relatively small words. I hope that helps. I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.